Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft and today I built another escape room and another one of my friends is going to try to escape it. Now this is maybe one of the hardest escape rooms I've built yet. Other than the backrooms maze that I made last episode, go check that out right after this. Um, probably one of the most secure prisons I've ever made. Um, or Minecraft, like, escape rooms, you know what I mean. But, yeah, so, the name of this is... I don't know, I'm just gonna call it the Impossible Escape for now. Uh, though, I don't know, we'll see if he can escape. I don't know. Alright. Now, uh, now, you're probably wondering, hey, why is he not drowning? Well, that's because, uh, I put a conduit here. <laughs> yeah, I put a conduit right above him so he doesn't drown. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, it's not the right cobblestone. <laughs> eh, it's fine. But, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. Okay, it does take a while, though, um, yeah. So, if you have any, uh, uh, suggestions uh, for what I should do in my next episode of either escape rooms or survival or uh, really anything. Um, really, I'll, I'll take any suggestions uh, that you guys want to see uh, mostly, but yeah. So just, yeah, comment that in the comments down below if you have any good suggestions. Oh, that's the right couple. But yeah, if you have any uh, suggestions for the next video. So yeah. Alright, looks like he is hopefully almost done mining the cobblestone. Usually it takes about almost a whole minute to mine cobblestone uh, underwater, so I'm going to assume soon he's about to be done, so I'm just going to go behind it so maybe we can get a cool shot. <laughs> but yeah, and... Yeah, yeah, that's right, okay, good. Oh, that looks like a creep. I can see him there. Right. Whoa, he actually looks like a penguin, sort of. <laughs> well, anyways, there we go. His ne now he's into the next room. His next room contains of a two-block gap that you can't jump over, a not-lit nether portal, and a hole in the roof with a flint and steel. Now, if you know what he needs to do, comment in the comments down below, or just make your bets, in, uh, 10, 9, or make your bets, uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, what do you think it is? And the answer is to light to the nether portal, and then go through the nether portal, and then there are two oak planks waiting for you, so then you can build out, um, of this, uh, room, so yeah. All right. And now I can't go through the uh, portal because I am in spectator mode, but yeah. All right. He should have broke the two oak planks. Oh, there he is. All right. You got the two oak planks. Now he can use it to build up and then build up through the next room. Uh, he's making sure there's nothing there good tactic all right and now into the next room where he has an iron frame obsidian block and inside that iron frame there is a fire resistance potion and he needs to make the jump so he can get the fire is res or it stands for resistance but yeah anyways all right he needs to make the jump and bam he made it all right he can get the fire resistance potion, and then he can use that to jump into the lava and make his way into the next room. By the way, the next room is sort of backrooms themed, <laughs> um, but yeah. Alright. Looks like he's going up to see if there's anything on this side. Is he going to go through? Let's hope. Uh, oh yeah, he is. Great. Alright, into the backrooms level. All right. Looks like he sees a hole and he's trying to break through, though he can't because there's bedrock. So, um, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah. And then there's the hotel level right there. Um, but yeah. 
So now he's gonna, I'm supposing he's gonna open all the doors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Whoa, that's cool. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. So it looks like he's still opening all the doors. Looks like he's on fire because of the fire resistance particles coming off of him. All right. Now we can go down here. Maybe this. Ooh, this is a cool shot. <laughs> Let's do that. All right. There we go. Looks like he's opening all the doors still. All right. Looks like that's basically all the doors. Or not basically all the doors. Uh, it is all the doors. <laughs> but yeah. Now he can move his way, make his way into the pool rooms. Or then he finds a trap door. Pretty well hidden, if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, anyways, he needs to explore the other room. But uh, yeah, here we go, just with a little staircase and a pipe. Nothing too drastic. But yeah, so... Anyways, looks like he's making sure there's nothing there. He's trying to go up the staircase, but it's fine. I, I, I would too, I mean, it is a staircase, so, uh, but it just doesn't really lead anywhere. So anyways, um, yeah, well, anyways, now he can place the trap door and make his way to the next and final room, where he goes into a room with an item frame with seeds, a chicken, a weighted pressure plate, and redstone, and a netherite door he can't open. Now you might be wondering, well, how do how would he get out of here? So, well, the answer is, uh, basically you have to lead the chicken through the maze, and how are you going to do that? Well, because he's not going to follow you. The way you do that is, um, um, well, um, you break the seed, and then it'll follow you, and then it'll step on the pressure plate and open the door. So that's, uh, I think it's a pretty cool thing that I, uh, put there, but yeah, anyways. There's the little Godzilla. <laughs> anyways, yeah, so now you might be wondering, hey, it's not quite there yet, so how does he get there? You do that. It opens the door. So long, folks. He's escaped. Bye!